Let's take a look at the chart action for Bitcoin. Okay, so I'm on the daily time frame right now, and I was watching this pattern like this. We have resistance, resistance, support, support. I was watching this possible W pattern, and I was waiting for a breakout to the upside. We actually got rejected right at that trend line. So what I'm thinking now is maybe we're going to come down and retest either this trend line down here sitting at around 37.9 thousand or maybe we could be looking at the previous bottoms. I'm not sure where it's going to stop or where it's going to get a bounce. The other thing I was watching, let's go into the four hour time frame. I kind of been watching this pattern right here and this is what makes me think we're going to start heading down a little bit more. I've been kind of been being trying to been being patient with this little area right here, but I was also watching we had support and support. Let's go ahead and do a trend line like this. And then we also had resistance, resistance, resistance. It kind of looked like a flag pattern or a pennant pattern and I was waiting for a breakout to the upside or to the downside we actually got a breakout to the downside so now what I'm looking at like I said are the previous support zones so there's a couple different other things that I was watching as well on the four hour time frame we have this four hour moving average right here and this it looks like it's sitting right around 41,000 so I'm wondering if we could get a bounce maybe here maybe we don't have to go all the way down to these levels down here so I don't know I'm kind of just dollar cost averaging on the way down I'm gonna be looking at these previous bottoms something like this let's go ahead and set up some horizontal orange lines I have I have a bunch actually I'm kind of dollar cost averaging like this so I have one right here at around 41k and then I have another one sitting at around 36.5k which is somewhere right here and then we have another one at around 35k I think it is this bottom right here Then I'm also looking at 33,000 which is this bottom down here at the wick in general now that we're kind of getting rejected on this spot up here I'm kind of looking at these spots for limit orders I also have some positions up here in general I have positions all over the board but now that we're kind of getting rejected on here I'm kind of seeing I'm wondering if we can kind of come back down and hit these limit orders maybe we can get a bounce on one of these orange lines or possibly this trend line that we've been having we got support on on the daily time frame let's go back to the daily time frame because this looks a little bit better like I said we had support right here and support right here this is also possible another spot that we might be able to catch a bounce on like I was saying I was trying to be patient in this little area right here I was hoping that we could break to the upside but it does look like we got some trouble and now we're pushing down and we broke this little support that I was watching as well, pushing us down. There's still a few good things that I'm looking at, though. Let's go ahead and just delete everything, and we'll check out the moving averages because this is one of the things that I like to watch in general to see if we're in a good spot or a bad spot. So we have, we're on the daily time frame right now, and we have this 9 moving average right here. We broke above the 9 moving average on the daily right here and I was saying this could possibly be a good signal in my opinion I think it's good to be above the 9 moving average opposed to being below it so the next thing that I was looking at is the weekly time frame and I was I've been waiting for this for a long time guys if we could break this weekly 9 moving average going to the upside then I think that was going to be a good signal and we actually did that and we are still above that 9 moving average right here so in my opinion I think we're still in a good spot until we break back below it then I'm thinking it's still pretty decent it's possible that we do break back below it but I'm just saying Right now we're still above it and it does look pretty decent to me so that's why i was kind of looking at this 180 moving average on the four hour time frame i'm kind of wondering if this is going to be a bear trap but i'm not sure that's why i do limit orders and i'm kind of just uh, playing both sides if we go down i'll accumulate more bitcoin and if we go up my positions that i already have in bitcoin will go up so that's fine with me either way in my opinion, my main goal with Bitcoin is just to accumulate more and try to stack Satoshis. So like I said, I'll be watching these orange lines for limit orders. And I'm hoping that we can maybe get a bounce on one of these lines right here. Not sure how far we're going to go down or what's going to happen. But these are the spots that I'm looking at. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like the video, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date, hit that subscribe button.